Today we're going to install a garbage disposal. And um, I have first laid out and assembled all the tools that I know I will need, which are here, and the items I think I may need, which are from the PVC over and back here. Um, I'll explain to you each one of them and what they are. Obviously we'll need a new disposal. Rags, a contractor bag that's obviously for the garbage, but it's also good before we start making garbage for putting down in case we get uh, water around and it pretty, we can put it inside the cabinet to protect it from water when we pull the old trap out. Uh, safety glasses that would be used with our sawzall if we use that. Um, and then I have a selection of sawzall blades. I'll be using the short metal blade for cutting PVC today. Um, you can use a hacksaw. And I also have in the optional tools my copper cutter, which also will cut PVC. Um, if you don't have a sawzall or you're not comfortable using it indoors. Plumber's putty that will need tape measure, channel locks, a screwdriver. You may, I have a straight there because usually the disposer throats are, are straight screws. Um, it may be a Phillips, in which case I have an extra Phillips over here. Short level, we'll need that for measuring our drain. And then we also have a selection of electrical items over there. Um, different, kind of, different size wire nuts, electrical tape, uh, lineman's pliers and strippers, and an electrical tester so that we can uh, hook up the electric to it. Um, work gloves. And then in the optional items here, I have my cutter, which I told you about, tin snips, uh, which we can use for cutting escutcheons, things like that, clamps, which you can use to hold things in place while you're trying to put things together. Sometimes you need them. Uh, pipe dope, that's in case I have any place that I have to put in metal threads. Um, you never use pipe dope on plastic. And I assume the uh, trap that came with this is plastic. We won't be using it on that but there may be some metal threads up where the disposer connects. So th that's what that's for. A selection of wrenches and then a couple adjustables, because I'm not sure what size we may or may not need. Uh, two foot level, which is a very useful thing um, for a number of reasons. Uh, obviously we'll be using it on the pipe in here, nothing's that long, but we may use it for a couple of other things I'll show you. I brought a little extra PVC in case I need to um, make any modifications to where the drain goes in. And I have PVC glue as well if, if it comes to that. Um, also, my screw gun, just on principle in case I need to secure anything to the cabinet. A work light in case I can't see very well. And a selection of. And newsflash as it turned out, we also need a hair dryer. Yes, a hair dryer. I'll explain later. Okay, now before we start, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Obviously, I've removed everything from under the sink. I've put my contractor bag down in there because when we pull the trap, some water is going to come out of there. Um, the first thing we're going to check out, because this is connected to electric, is how is it connected and we're going to disconnect it. Um, in this case, if you look, we got very lucky. It's a beautiful thing. It is a plug-in disposer. So, all we have to do is unplug it. Um, a lot of times they are hardwired in and connected, in which case we would have to um, remove this electrical connector right here. Um, that would be a little screw on it. We'd pull it back. Um, a lot of times there's a little uh, access panel. Let's see if there is one here. Um, I don't really see one. Well, yeah, it looks like there is, like right in here. Um, then you would have to unscrew that access panel. There'll be some wire knots and things in there, and um, you disconnect everything. Um, before you do that, you have to find the electrical box and turn off that outlet. That is of paramount importance. Um, so I'm going to set this up, and we'll start pulling the disposer. Okay, so we're ready to pull the disposer. Hopefully, I can stay out of the way enough so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, first of all, obviously, as we talked about, I'm going to unplug it. So now we have it unplugged, and now we're going to release the trap. We're going to need our channel locks. Adjust them to about the right amount. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. And we're just going to loosen it up a bit. We're going to do that to the front and the back. Oh. It started leaking a little quicker than I expected, so... Oh, that's a lovely 
smell. Okay. Now the trap seems to be in pretty good shape. So we're going to save it in case we need it. Uh -huh.